CISBOT program started with one crew working commercially in Boston, Massachusetts. Today, it's grown to over 16 crews working every day in the U.S. and the U.K. The success of CISBOT is guided by the field crews, but also the team of people working behind the scenes to support CISBOT operations every day. Our CISBOT support group consists of mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, and electromechanical technicians. Building and repairing spare parts, keeping up on inventory, and provide around-the-clock troubleshooting support to the US and the UK. CISBOT is a very well-known technology and very well established in the US and the UK. What isn't commonly understood is everything that goes on behind the scenes to make it a success. A key part of our delivery process is the people that work to maintain the robots and operate them in the field. None of our systems are automated, so the people that operate them, maintain them and ensure they run consistently and productively throughout the periods of we occupy the carriage bay are critical to the operation. As the UK business has grown since 2013, our operational footprint in the UK and our support functions have increased as well. We link heavily to the US team, where there's an engineering support and manufacturing process, and in the UK we link that to our support functions based on our depot and Heathrow. The system starts here with me. My function is really to make sure we have all the parts, everything's in inventory, and that the parts are manufactured per spec, and that the robot is put together the best that we possibly can. And the only way to do that is, is just to make sure we do testing, testing, testing. If there's anything that has to do with the SysBot program, we build it and fix it here. We're able to get things in and turn them around so quickly that the field crews are working all the time. There's, no, there's never any downtime. Between inventory that we have and new designs that we're working on to improve the robot, and to improve the system so it's pretty much fail safe. I mean, there's a lot of engineering that goes on, there's a lot of prototyping. It takes a, a team of a lot of people to make something this big, you know, happen and work the way it does. Together with our design, manufacture and maintenance process, another major important ingredient to the success behind the scenes is the training and competencies. It's very important for us that people have the right competencies to be able to operate our robotic systems. ULC develops and maintains an expert robotics workforce. One of the ways that we do that is by using a custom competency management system that develops and tracks their progress in the field. Our technicians hold the standard gas operations qualifications, including gas shape passport, SCO1, NCO1, NRSWA Streetworks, up to NRO competent person acting as CP on site. One of the things that's really neat is ULC creates and delivers ongoing robotic specific training for all of our field engineers to keep them up to date. It's very refreshing to see the ongoing training that happens both on site and in the shop for all of our field engineers. Part of the CISBOT LEADS job is to train brand new guys, tier three, tier two guys, and really bring them up to speed on site and train them day to day on all the operations. What is important for that is that we're continually evolving our systems, we're constantly improving them, we're constantly making them more efficient as demanded by our clients and our customers. A great example of that is our environmental, uh, eco-friendly container unit. Behind me, we have one of our increasing fleet of eco-friendly custom-built cabins. These eco-cabins are equipped with solar panels and a hybrid generator to enable us to commit to our clients' needs of striving towards net zero. The eco-cabin also enables us to work 24 hour shifts. This benefiting our stakeholders and clients by completing our program of work in a more efficient manner by reducing noise and pollution in the local area. One of the reasons why we're so successful with CISBOT is that we employ dedicated teams of support groups in the US and in the UK to help maintain the systems and keep each crew working efficiently. So the people behind CISBOT are key to the operation. We deploy robots, but the people are key to making that happen. 